In this video I'm going to show you how to use Christmas Photoshop action. So what I'm actually going to do is uh, I'm going to use this photo uh, as an example for a demonstration of the action. So uh, the way the action works is you open up your photo, you just brush up uh, over your subject and uh, just play the action. And this is the effect that the action creates. Alright, so as you can see what the action does, it creates the focus on the subject, uh, it creates these uh, textures, it creates uh, uh, these uh, sparkles all right and the action also create a 20 color looks that you can choose from and you can also combine them for creating even more so uh, there is a lot of options for customizing uh, the designs and uh, just gonna close these two windows now so uh, before you use the action there are a few things that you should check to make sure the action will not without any errors so the the first thing is when you open up your photo is uh, that your photo uh, is a background layer, so that's the first thing that you should check. So it's, it should be called the background and have this uh, lock icon here. So if you get something like this or anything else, just go to layer, new, and just choose background from layer. And uh, this step will turn your uh, photo, uh, uh, photo layer to the background layer if it's not. And uh, also uh, click on this menu icon here uh, and just choose the panel options. And make sure you get this option here checked, add copy to copy layers and groups. And then go to the image mode and your photo should be uh, in RGB color mode, edit with kernel. And then just check the image size here. So your photo should be at least about uh, uh, 1500 pixels wide or height. Right, so this, this photo size is okay and the resolution can be anywhere, uh, anywhere between the 70 to 300 ppi. Okay, so uh, to, to load the action, just go to Window, Actions, click on this menu icon here, and choose Load Actions. And here, just choose um, the uh, action from the folder according to your Photoshop version, all right? So just and just double click to the action file, and uh, the action folder will appear in your action panel. Just open the folder, and here is the action. And what you have to do now is just go to layer, new layer, to create a new layer and just name it brush. And it's very important that you write the the, uh, the word brush exactly like this with a all uh, letters lowercase because the otherwise uh, the action won't work. Okay, and now while this layer here is selected, you just pick a brush tool, you can just hit B on your keyboard and right, right click anywhere uh, or the canvas and uh, just choose a salt brush and make sure your uh, brush opacity is set to 100% here and just choose any color here, color is, is not matter and just brush on your subject and you don't have to be precise here so just gonna brush like this okay and uh, all you have to do now is to just uh, play the action and the action usually completes in less than a minute, but it depends on your image size. So I'm going to fasten the video here and get back as soon as the action is finished. And then I'm going to uh, show you how can you customize the results that you got. Okay, so the action has just finished. So we're just gonna close the actions panel. And the first thing that you probably want to do each time you play the action is uh, just to quickly close down all these folders. So how to quickly do that is uh, just hold Control and Alt buttons for PC or Command Option for Mac and while this group here is selected just click in uh, this uh, area icon here and uh, that way you're just gonna close all the folders uh, quickly so uh, the first uh, the first layer that we got here is the brush layer alright so this is the brush layer that you made at the beginning of the video and uh, this action is made so every time you run the action you will get unique result so if you just delete this entire folder here and just play the action again using the same brushed area you're gonna get unique results so these sparkles and textures are always going to be uh, differently arranged and uh, gonna have a, a, a different form right so that's why you have this brush layer over there so just gonna hide it uh, as I don't need it now and uh, this is the, the main folder so just open the folder and uh, the, the first layer we got here is the overall sharpening 
so this layer is giving a sharpening to the whole photo and how you control the sharpening is you just click on the very opacity and just drag it to the side all right and uh, if you're happy with this effect you just wish to uh, you can then just customize this sharpening but if you if you wish to make any changes to the design uh, just just hide this layer and why is that because when you move this layer you see it has those edges that are the edges that are giving a sharpening to the effect so if you make some changes to the effect you, you have to update uh, this layer as well so just gonna hide it for now and we're going to create again uh, later after uh, finish with uh, customizing uh, the design right so the next layer we got here is the oral saturation so when you double click here uh, it's by default set to 10 right so you can just move this uh, pointer to the left or right depending on the uh, you control the you control the saturation that way right so I'm just gonna set something like this so depending on which kind of the effect you wish to achieve, uh, you can just move this pointer to the left or to the right to desaturate photo or to increase the saturation. Right, so uh, the next layer we got here is the overall contrast. So by default it's set to 10%, alright? So you can just click to the opacity and drag it to the side and that way we're gonna change the contrast. And as you can see, it, it's very sensitive, right? And I'm just gonna use some smaller values like this. All right. Uh, the next folder we got here are the color looks. So I'm just gonna open the folder, and uh, here, as you can see, you got a 20 color looks to choose from. So all you have to do is to select the color look uh, that you wish to try. Just turn it on, see how it looks. If you don't like it, simply try with another. Alright, and how can you combine the color looks? Is you, for example, turn on uh, this one here and this one here, and then you can just uh, play with their opacities, right? And just give uh, some uh, new color look, right? So I'm just gonna use. I'm gonna use this one here, right? So just gonna lower its opacity a little bit. It's pretty intensive with this example here. Alright, and after changing the color look, you may wish to change the saturation or the contrast again, alright? So I'm just gonna set something like this. And I'm gonna leave the saturation. So uh, the, the next uh, folder we got here are the sparkles. So just turn it over and on. Alright, so you can. Uh, I see the the changes. So uh, when you open the folder, uh, what we got here is the Sparkle One layer, and Sparkle Two. So they are uh, uh, layered into the two layers, and you can pick a move tool. You can just you can move these uh, sparkles if you want. You can just press Control or Command T on your keyboard, and you can transform them. All right. Example like this. All right, so you can also you can also hide if you wish to less sparks. You can just simply hide one of these two layers, or you can brush if you wish to remove specific sparkle. You can just brush with uh, with a black color into the layer mask uh, of the of the sparkles that you wish to remove. Right, so you got the two layers uh, here. But if you wish to remove any sparkle where you brush, then just select this main layer mask. So this is gonna remove uh, any sparkles uh, where you brush. Right. Uh, I'm just gonna. Uh, you, you only, uh, there is a, a layer mask here. If you just turn off the layer mask, then the sparkles will be visible all over the photo. So they're not visible just inside this uh, brushed area, uh, outside of the brush area. Sorry. So you can just pick a, a brush tool and choose a white color as a foreground, and you can just brush over the areas where you wish to add uh, sparkles, right? Just like this. Just gonna add a little bit over there. All right. Just like that. 
the next layer we got here is the clarity so it basically increases the clarity of the of your photo of all the details there so you can just play with this opacity here just gonna leave it by default and uh, what we got here is the color boost so if I just turn off and down this layer you can see the difference and uh, uh, it's got uh, there is a color boost brightness layer here that is uh, controlling the, the brightness of these layers so if I just hide this layer you can see how the lighting pr gets pretty pretty intensive uh, this also depends on your on the brightness of your uh, photo right so it may happen that your photo doesn't get so much intensive uh, brightness after you uh, hide this layer so it depends on your photo but usually it, it will be pretty intensive like this so you just double click here and uh, you can just uh, move this uh, middle point here right you can see how the, the brightness changes so just gonna set something like this alright and here we got a color boost situation so you can just play with these values here alright I'm just gonna leave it uh, by default and uh, also uh, I forgot to mention this layer here increased clarity he has a layer mask so if you wish to remove uh, the, the details on some places right for example if you wish to increase the clarity of the details over here but don't wish over here you can just brush with the black color over there right and uh, you can also uh, do the same with a color boost if you wish to remove the color boost some areas you can just brush with the black inside the layer mask and here we got a textures right there uh, textures are uh, visible uh, uh, around uh, outside of your brushed area all right because of this layer mask here so if I had the layer mask they will be visible all over the photo and uh, here we got another layer mask so if you just hide it uh, you can see the difference so you can you can just uh, change the, uh, the density of the textures right so you can just uh, go to the if you don't have properties uh, panel here you can just go to window and choose the properties and select this layer mask and you can just to change the density of these uh, of the textures by changing the density here of the of the layer mask all right and what we got here we got a four textures and uh, you can play with their opacities right for giving uh, different results you can also select any of those textures layer masks all right you just brush with the black if you wish to remove the texture on, on some area yeah, like this and you can see that the each textures layer has its color fill layer above it so you can just double click on the color box and choose any other color all right and uh, here we got a uh, textures mist so it will just uh, brighten up some uh, parts of the textures and you can also uh, play with the opacity here and here we got a, a layer that says increase textures clarity All right and you also got the opacity here so just click the opacity and drag it aside uh, to uh, increase uh, the the uh, textures clarity right so just gonna leave it by default and here we got a layer that says brush color here so what you actually have to do is while the thumbnail of the layer is selected just pick a brush tool so you can just hit uh, B on your keyboard and choose a color that you like for example I'm just gonna choose this one or I'll choose some other like this and all you have to do is to just uh, just start brushing for your photo and uh, create a lot of different effects right okay, for example brush with one color then brush with another and so on right so and uh, about this layer is just gonna uh, colorize the, the textures right so here we got a texture tint so when double click here you can change the density and uh, 
can change the filter here, right? So or you can choose the color and then choose some specific color. So you can add some things to your uh, textures. And here we got texture brightness. So you got you can just move this middle point here to change the brightness of the textures. And uh, here we got this layer mask that is, uh, as I have mentioned, uh, prevents the textures going over your subject. So just gonna set the layer mask, set program color to white, and uh, can just brush over the areas where we wish to make uh, textures appear. Right, so then we're gonna brush like this. Okay, and you can also open the properties panel and change this density here. As you drop the density, uh, the texture will start getting visible over your brushed area. All right, as you can see, if we get the zero, it will be completely visible all over the photo. And uh, what we got here is the vignette. So, vignette effect, you can just also change the opacity here. Just gonna leave it by default. And also one thing I forgot to mention here, you can transform the both particles at once. You just select the folder here, right? So now the layer mask, you select the folder, press Ctrl T, and you can just quickly transform the sparkles, right? Alright, so uh, the next layer we got here is the background blur. Okay, you can see a difference, so uh, it will create the focus on your photo, so the uh, the area that you brushed will stay, will remain in focus, and uh, outside the brushed area will be blurred. So you got the layer mask here. You can select the layer mask, pick a br uh, white color as a foreground, and you can brush over the areas that you wish to add uh, to remove from the focus or that you wish to blur. All right, just like this. or you can just brush with the black or the areas that you very wish to remove the blur. And you can control the amount of blur by clicking the real opacity and dragging it aside. Alright, so for each of these layers that I mentioned, you can just change the opacity. You can change it always by clicking on the real opacity and dragging it to the side. Or you can click on this little arrow here and uh, then just move this pointer here to any value that you like. Okay, and this is just your original photo. So now just gonna uh, delete this layer here, and we are going to create the uh, the sharpening uh, again, as I said on the beginning of the video. So just uh, hold, uh, press on your keyboard, Alt, Control, Shift, and E, or Command, uh, Option, Shift, and E, uh, to make a snapshot, and then just go to the filter, other high pass, set radius to two pixels and just change the blending mode to hard light. Alright. And what you have to do now is to just using the change by changing the opacity, set the amount of sharpen that you like. I'm gonna set it something like this. Okay. And let's just quickly uh, check the before and after. So this is the before and this is the after. Okay so I hope you understood everything, but if you still need any help or you got any questions, uh, feel free co to, to contact me anytime via my Envato profile page. And thanks for watching.